All right, let's see. Let's see what Gordon Nightshade have to say uh, about if PSO will be dying. So they did. They did a survey, and uh, they have a lot more people to probably vote on the survey. So I am super, super curious uh, to see how this gonna go. So let's jump on in. Hello there, Skulls Nightshade here. Recently, the topic is NGS dying and NGS is dying has been As floating the audio real quick. a whole lot. Now, this scenario has happened before many, many times, and oh. of course, the game still lives on. With yeah, more times than I can count. Community. Normally, I don't take the time to think any further into this topic since I am an active player and I don't feel like this is the case. But out of curiosity. Yeah, real quick, I'm I'm with all like I as I have stated before, I'm in the camp of like I don't think it dying. Stagnating, maybe. Dying, no. Like as long as the game making money and Sega is making tough to make money. The game the game still got a good three to five yields easily in it. Well, something horrible happened that stopped the money income. I made a poll on my YouTube channel acknowledging this and asking my community what they think. I have a pretty small community on YouTube, so we got a little over 100 votes. I was actually very surprised with the results. 19% yes and 89% no. Yeah. Normally, on places like Twitch and Discord, we chat about the subject all the time, but I didn't realize how many people have lost hope or interest in the game. 19% is still a small number, but it is... I, I get the whole losing interest, because let's let be honest, like, with, with, hopefully there's a change in this year, but with how leaning into AC Quatch and, and also not counting all the stuff that's been happening with, like, all the grinding stuff that we have right now, or had, well, you know, you spent, you know, hundreds of hours or however long doing just to have Sega give that item away for nothing. Example being, uh, like the Amphimium Quintos of being like, oh, you can only farm them to Gigantic, getting like maybe, what was it, like 20, 30 an hour, and you need like 200. And then like a month later, or nine months later, be like, oh yeah, just go farm Season Point for like 30 minutes, and now you can just buy 200. Like as an example of that. It's more than I expected. Honestly, if you were to ask me, I thought it was going to be around 5 to 10. <laughs> So I asked my viewers if they wanted me to make a video talking about this subject and expressing my feelings. But honestly, I didn't really see a point to that since I express my opinion almost every day on Twitch. A viewer and Alliance member, Teddy, gave me the idea to do sort of an open forum and allow the community to speak their mind about the subject. Since we always hear it from the perspective of content creators. Yep. From that came the survey we're covering <laughs> in this video. And a few people that... Side note, chat. I want to give a big thanks to Karopi for sharing the video and helping me reach out to more members of the community. I am pretty sure that that played a big factor in the amount of submissions we got. In one weekend, we exactly. got a total of one. Exactly, CM. That is a very good point. Yeah, if PSO would die, wouldn't it be bringing a big house update to it? Yeah. Like, if PSO would die, in, like, they would be doing bell minimum content to push to keep Pryo doing stuff to then push AC Quatch. Give us a house and then ta take it down. Yeah, like, and also the thing to keep in mind, I believe uh, last I heard PSO and New Genesis still Sega second biggest income stream of the whole company as well. So, you know, that also a thing. Cause I think the concept of the game dying is obviously not accurate and not. Cause I would say honestly, the real the the real conversation is more around is the game dying to the player base and the hardcore player base. I feel like that a little more awkward. Meaning, like the game is not shutting down, but how how much of the player base is feeling disenchanted with it? To the point that they are no longer playing or, you know, actually affecting, like, especially, like, the people who have been a whole bunch of money. Like, how many of them players are like, nah, I can't do this anymore. I'm out. Not not being, because, you know, the distance between them being like, I'm out because I'm going to go play something else. I'll be back one day and they never come back. And then another 
having to be self-aware enough to be like, I'm out because of X, Y, and Z. That is, that is like my question here. Because, you know, obviously the whole thing of like, oh, they lose a thousand players. Maybe they gain 500 back. And then net money gained 500. Now they back to where they was. Like I have been saying, like the game is more like, not full stagnation, but like more like very slow up climb. That will always seem to fluctuate around like a certain amount of players. Will it go over or under? Probably. Will it get to a point that that really gonna matter in the end when it comes to Sega? Probably not. Uh, but it like still one of them ideals of like how how is how is like the players that are like invested feeling about the game more so. Because, you know, the only way, the only way the game going to get shut down is literally everybody just stop playing and nobody spending money. And also, have, uh, we have seen with other MMOs, like, there are plenty of MMOs out there that have, like, 100, 200 people playing, if that, that is still up and running. They might not be getting new content, per, per se, but they are still up and wanting because the handful of people there are spending the money to keep it afloat, to keep it justified. Or well, some company may or may not have forgot the game and he it. But that a whole, whole distant discussion, though. Um, so it like, in one of them cases, well, it's like, it like a distant discussion. But the thing is, it's like that discussion, like, way more, like, way more in the weeds than what a lot of people want to have. Because, you know, most people want to jump to the dreams of either side. Well, having, like, the real conversation of, like, in the more gray area. You know, like, the conversation we have had on this channel hundreds and hundreds of times. 1,058 responses. And since I am only one person, I had to shut it down from there to get the video done in time. This video. Now, it's time we take a look at the results. So the survey was titled, What do you think of PSO2 NGS? It was an anonymous open survey. The total amount of responses, again, 1,058. The objective of the survey. Now, I know on some other platforms, people were a little confused at my objective with the survey. Hopefully this will help you guys understand why I did this and what results I'm looking for. So our objective is to assess the general response from players with interest in the game, active players, semi-active players, and inactive players on the topic, is NGS dying? The goal is to compare players that have played PSO2 since base game JP, base game global, NGS launch, or more recently than that, and see if their satisfaction of the game or expectations corresponds with their playtime or starting time. Yeah, so this is a also, little more grand to see if their exposure like to community about. events and large social events corresponds with their satisfaction of the game. Which, by the way, the community stuff is fantastic. Like the Miku stuff, the cat day stuff. The end goal is to find trends in what the players need and ask for regularly, and if the majority do feel like the game is dying. So, the first question is, do you still... Yeah, that's the other thing, Sam. Like, that... I, I feel like the people that also just look at bait and number, because this is the reason why I find the conversation more interesting and be more gray or more in the weeds, I have more interesting than, you know, it dead or not dead. Because a lot of people, I feel, only look at, uh, like, the theme chart, not realizing absolutely it on PlayStation, on Epi, on Epic, you know, it on Windows Door, and, like, the number you see on theme is a very small percentage of player total. And that is not counting the Japanese side on top of that. Because, you know, you then have the whole, like, Japanese end of being on each of the platforms and the Japanese version being separate from the global version. So you have global number and then you have JP numbers. And, you know, once you put them together, it leaps and bounds more so than what most people say. And the whole reason I'm in a camp, if I had to do, like, a rough guess, I honestly would say PSO probably have, between JP and Global, probably about, like, two, maybe three million players easily, if not more. Like, don't get me wrong, in the West, we probably more in the lines of, like, half a mil, because obviously Japan. But, you know... Deal. Like, any of Japan, like, one, one and a half to two million more than us. 
it's still probably a good very like half to a million in global alone. If anything, that could just be the number alone on PlayStation just because how massive and how much install bait you know PlayStation have. But yeah, people just don't don't think about that stuff. They just see theme number and instantly go that way. Play NGS. 818 players said yes, that was about 77.3%. 207 players said occasionally, which is 19.6%. Like 33 an players said no, which was 3.1%. The next question. Yes, that we only played on Tuesday and Wednesday and when I need to do video. Have you been to a community event? Since there was a little bit of confusion yes, so around hand. what this question meant, let me. Because I, I always couple the Miku stuff if I can. Let me explain it. What I mean when I say this is like if your alliance has a big get together on ship three, we have cafe day, any big community fashion shows, things like that are considered community events. 306 players equaling about 28.9% said that they have 168 players equaling about 15.9% said that they've only so. seen live streams and videos of events. I, I really hope I really hope with housing. It, it would, uh, the thing, the thing about housing is, depending on how it goes, like, I could see housing being one of them things that be, like, super, super useful, uh, especially for, like, large or alliance or large or, like, friend base, you know, instead of having to deal with, like, what block, what city, you know, not, and then not even counting, or, 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 let's be honest here, if they make player housing, like a quad ship thing, like how the battle sector or the um, battle stuff was for PvP uh, in base. If they, if they, if that would be honestly, that would be the bet new to also come out about housing. Like if this is like a separate solo intent that anyone from any solo can join, as long as they have like a friend code or something, you know, in sort whatever means here. You know, and we could all just get into a house. That would be fantastic because, like, we always seen what that happens in like Final Fantasy fourteen, like the people who just literally hangs out in houses and will play house stuff or do consoles and whatnot. Like, if that's something we could do, once again, I haven't said, but like that type of stuff can make housing really, really awesome. Uh, just because at that point, you know, you will have your area that is separated off to the people. You know, you want to be around, and when you be like, hey, well, you're in the house. And no guessing, you don't have to figure out, like, are you an alien, are you a retain, are you on ship one, ship two, block four, block nine. It just become super, super straightforward and uh, super simple. And that is, like, what I'm kind of hoping from housing. I hope how once again I hope how not uh, not limited to like eight people and three by three without premium. Cause like yeah like um yeah exactly like the Miku console stuff yeah just imagine cause they they show like previews of that of just like having like a nightclub looking place but yeah just imagine if the Miku stuff like if Miku could build like a stage for them community event. And build it up, make the area, have proper lining set up for, like, what is a visual stuff, uh, or not visual stuff. Um, also, like, being able to do, like, quad ship and then have it be, like, oh, like, 100 people can join one area or something. Like, that'd be so great. That'd be so awesome. If we could just, like, oh, Miku is holding a console. Okay, we go, instead of being, like, okay, block three, bait PSO on this block. Without any of that, it'd just be like, it's just a Miku block. And if you could save the blocks to, like, your favorite list that you could just, like, join. So, like, every person be, like, a distant instance. It would be, like, the Luna Chort, the Miku console. You know, kind of similar to the way, like, VR chat does it. Like, oh my god, man. Like, like thinking about that, which I didn't think about too literally just now. That would be awesome for community event that would be awesome in general will sega do it probably not but my god that would be that would be such a great thing and if so then like that would that would like so much and we torn as well like make me want to log into pso more and more 
to just like you know hang like hang out with people like people doing like Final Fantasy 14 or VR chat just PSO. I like the way and you think. And 584 CEO. players, equaling 55.2 percent, said no. I'm excited now, <laughs> and I'm gonna be the let next down question. tomorrow. Do you think PSO2 NGS is dying? No. Players that said yes, 261 players said yes, equaling about 24.7 percent. Players that said no, 415 players said no, equaling about 39.2 percent. Players that had other responses, meaning yes or no, were not fitting. That was 328 players, equaling yeah, about 31.1%. So, so it was minority, like we all knew. However, a lot of the other responses, quote, quote, fit into the category of yes and no, in a sense. But even here, we have a higher percentage that said the game is dying than we did in the YouTube poll that I did. I didn't include the response other, so it was split a little differently, but that is still surprising. And now for our last question, which gives the most detail about how people feel. What are your thoughts on the game and what do you think about the is NGS dying comments? Feel free to talk about your experiences, what you think the game could improve on, what you like slash dislike about the game, and more. Now, I had to break this down because there is absolutely no way I can sit here in one video and read out 1,058 responses. So, up content as I went through the responses, out. I took note of things that I saw repetitively, things that I saw come up and what types of players said certain remarks, like players who played base game first. Okay, hang on. I, I don't think she's going to read over that. So, let's let actually read that and see what Zachary is say. So not enough comment or uh, content slat no weeds in the play. That ain't that ain't kind of the camp I'm like slowly in of like no not not the content part because you know you can it's stuff you can find but the problem is is the content that they would not worth it just because uh the 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 ability to do it and then the the payoff for doing it is just not worth it. And then especially once you bring in, you know, like drop weight and stuff into it as well. Um, but I thought like no reason to play it. Like I kind of feel that one a little bit just because it like it no, no real like progression at all there because any progression we do have will just be, you know, thrown out of the window in like a month or given to us. Let's see, only do daily, weekly, and then log out, which is more like what we do on Tuesday and Wednesday. We hop on, we do our daily, we do our weekly. We get the stuff done for maintenance. Um, so we also kind of fall into that. A ball game, a uh, loop, and um, uh, over, or underwhelming or repetitive. Yeah. Yeah, because literally that, that oh God, I'm, I'm feeling, I'm, I'm batting a thousand with it right now. Because that's the other thing I have talked about of like the. The, the whole idea of in-game, I did a whole video about this. The whole idea of in-game and PSO, outside of the credit card stuff, is literally the same in-game we had at launch of NGS that we now have, like, what, two and a half, three years later. After four regions, the in-game is still absolutely the same. Like, nothing have changed really at all about it. Let's see, not rewarding, yes, as we just talked about, the, the whole drop weight stuff, or them just giving up the stuff. Uh, combat loop, um, oh, the actual combat stuff being loop, yeah. Or, um, underwhelming, yep, I agree with. Not, uh, not enough, uh, or poor in-game content, once again, what I said. Too much with cycle content, yes. And then also not helping uh, that the content that they do have, um, that technically not with cycle any of it kind of is such a limited time quest that they should take away instead of leaving out available forever. Uh, want dungeons and wait? Yep, because it's like the only like the closest thing we got to a dungeon is what the, the the towel, the pyramid, and the cocoons, and and then like wait it origin quests. But the thing is, as we have stated many times, the only good the only good wait is dot falls. But, you know, after a certain point, it, you know, you can't die or anything. But launching was really good because we all kept dying. 
Hopefully, the new one will be up there, but we will see. Um, Doi not entertaining. Yeah, the story about the Doi not entertaining bit, I still feel like, like I said, I have flashback to, like, episode one of PSO2, where there's a lot of nonsense, a lot of random characters up, uh, a lot of stuff that feel either did join it, or feel like there should be, like, Doi beat that fit in there to make it make sense. That you get glossed over, big example there, like Manon in Kavaritz. Proper example with the whole lot central not knowing where it is, and they have a dab wish in the fort cutscene that no one been there for decades, and then you go there and people everywhere, and on top of that, it just Manon just knows. Like, example. Um, so it's just like stuff there that just like make the story very underwhelming, and it feel very much like bait PSO. And that way, with episode one, where with all that stuff, they're like, oh, why did it matter? Why are we doing that? I don't care. You know, that whole mindset. And then by the time you got to the end of episode three, it kind of like, oh, okay, that makes sense why they did that now. But the thing is, you have to indicate the bait PS, so you still have to, like, slog through, like, a hundred hour of story content that before any of it any make sense or become relevant. Uh, so, I kind of feel like that right now about baits. Um... Let's see, drifting content, uh, is too slow. My biggest issue with the content, I don't think the content is too slow. Because that implied the content actually worth doing. Um, I'm still in the camp of the content itself. And the thing that annoyed me about it, not it being slow, but them putting out content that obviously missing up. And then six months later, they would do a quality of life update. Uh, that will add up that common sense wise should have been there day one or should have like, you know, put back the release of said content. Example of that would be when they added music and they give it the ability to make playlists and whatnot for a music player. Why wasn't there not an option there to see what song we have with or why did that take like a year for them to add? Or, like, hey, we're going to introduce a uh, quack ticket, which was in vape, so, you know, still. But putting in, like, the content where you can do do whatever to get doll gems and then use doll gem for item. Why was there not ability to use multiple tickets? Why do you have to use one at a time when there was other tickets that literally ask you if you want to use them multiple like, as an example of what I'm talking about here, like, that is the part of the content that annoys me. It just, there are points that obviously stuff should have been there or should have been delayed. And instead, it's just like, we're going to give you the bell minimum and then the stuff that should have been there day one, we will give to you in like six to eight months. And like, why? Why? Said things like this. Players who played NGS first or our new players said things like this. The ones with stars are the things that I saw an extreme amount of, kind of in a ranking type of way. And it goes from the most that I saw to the least amount that I saw, but was still very common and relevant. So common responses that the game needs to improve on or players do not like. The first one is not enough content, no reason to play. Another common response that's okay, related, no, I, I saw people say, okay. they only log in to do dailies and weeklies and then they log out. Players think the overall game loop is underwhelming or repetitive. Players feel like the gameplay and the drops are not rewarding. Players feel that the combat loop is underwhelming or repetitive. They also feel that there's not enough or poor endgame content. Players think that there is too much recycled no content. content in some way beyond Players don't called. like the lack of dungeons Sadly. and raids in the game. Many players feel that the story is not entertaining. Players feel that we are getting drip fed content and the content is too slow. Players feel like there is too much RNG in the Oh god, the RNG thing is not Oh my god, that is so accurate because the thing is they're like The RNG literally hurt the the farming bit of it. The game. And that most things revolve around RNG. Everything Players are disappointing at not sadly. seeing things like life skilling, as in fishing, mining, things like Same. that. Players. Technically, we have mining and fishing. It just, we shoot a thing or pick it up. Technically. 
patently. Um, are upset at the lack of social games like arcades, casinos, etc. Yeah, we have went on about how we missed Players that. Players well. notice the player retention and dislike that their friends or people that they invite or normally play the game with stop playing after a while. Matchmaking. Yeah. Players felt like it's extremely difficult to get into random queues with other people. I agree. Players I agree with that because that that over one of them things of like not not only is it hard to. But as we have seen, like, multiple times, it's like, if you're not in the region or net to the item, good luck, you know? Good luck getting into map making. Or, you know, map making just take forever if you don't, like, join, like, the second it began. But, hey, PvP it heal, though. Let's see, what real quick, what we got? One solo content. I'm so-so on solo content. I think solo content, honestly... I feel like that probably would matter more to me if there were like a Trinity system, but how PSO is set up with everybody you're capable to do stuff yourself is like, oh, other players, they'll just don't really matter because, you know, everybody get their own separate loot. If you wobbly in the same area, you get a It's like, you know, like the solo content, like, I don't, I don't, I don't really feel like an order for it. PVP, I, I want, cause like I said, I would still love for PVP from Bait PSO to come up with the NGS and just don't make the item randomly location when they spawn. Have them in set spawn weights, and I'd be happy. Let's see, story seem unfinished. That is 100% accurate because it is. Uh, more collaboration with anime and game. I feel like that's gonna get fixed in time. Uh, not enough fashion for T1 and cats. I agree with that, mainly. Especially T1, because once again, that is them just, you know, trying to cut tie to bait PSO as much as they can, which is why. Uh, trading. I get it bought up at the same time. You know, and then, then that drive people to do auction out trading, which may or may not get them canceled, get them banned if Sega still banning people for that. Uh, we don't know. They haven't said. We just know they did. Um, so yeah, trading be also nice. Players want to see more solo content. Players mentioned wanting to see PvP. Next, players feel like the story seems unfinished. Or they are very underwhelmed with the story. Players would like to see more collabs with anime and games. Players feel like there's not enough fashion for Type 1 and Cass. And this is actually something that leads to things like cast day. Um, if you look at my cast day video, I talk about where it originated from and how oh, it started. And that was one of the major things that led to a community event. So something good out of the bad. Players dislike the lack of trading. Players feel like we get new gear too fast. I, I still don't think we get guild too fast. I think we get too little guild too fast. That is my thing. That is still that is still my whole thing about it. Like we get like one guild, we become the meta, everybody get that, and then like a couple months later, they give us another piece and you know just become you know, you like a step ladder. Well, I still would they would be like, Okay, every six months be like here is here with like fifty new pieces of armor, you know, like forty new weapons. Might it be, you know, the only thing this in it, like, portal change with, like, some stats of jump, man. But, like, just having them as a straight series that we leak, like, one at a time is, like, my issue I have with Gil. I just wish they'd be, like, every six months be, like, heal 10, heal 20, heal 50. That way it add more to you actually being able to make character that is more customized to you and your play style. Instead of just being like, oh, I get the new nine thaws out. Like, go get the nine thaw, you know. And just for T1, damn white, damn white CM. Let's see, item lab, too offensive. I don't think it's too offensive. Uh, I think it could be more offensive or could find out a way to get money out of the economy. Uh, PA combat balance, yeah, I understand that. Symptom config for new player and new player feel lost. Especially for bait, yes. I don't know. I don't. I don't feel like that adequate for NGS. I feel like NGS do a fairly okay job, probably because there's not a lot of depth and depth yet. Anyway, 
Um, leveling going and open war. Maybe? That, that, that is iffy, I feel. The level scaling bit I feel iffy about just because enemy have so much AP. I can understand like scaling for affiliate so you're not just doing like the same two thing yellow triggles. Um maybe battle sector, maybe, but yellow trigger. Um So like I, I, I could I could see the whole like level scaling to give more affiliate. But not like level killing for 8P because 8P is always a problem. And I still think each region should be like that. That it should be still stick to certain level for that region. Um, and also, you know, top top auto leveling uh, gigantic that will. Oh, they're, they're the one I agree with. Pulsar shop should be available for all players. Yes, I still say. Give free player 15 faces to sell. Give premium 30 faces to sell. You get double the faces if you join premium. But everybody get a shop. Yeah, they have damage going. I think it what we're referring to is probably like level going for HP. Or not HP, sorry. Uh, billions. I think that's what they are meaning, Mason. Players feel like the item lab is too expensive. Players feel like there need to be more PAs. The combat Maybe. needs work, I don't know. and the combat needs frequent balancing. New players feel that the systems are confusing and they feel lost. Players feel like there needs to be level scaling in the open world. We're going to go to common responses of things that players enjoy, and unfortunately, this list is a lot smaller. I love, I love how Dot falls to Dell. They'll find that, doesn't it? Smaller in comparison to things that I saw on a regular basis that were more negative. Oh, absolutely. It is very unfortunate, but let's go over the positives here. 100%. Like, I don't have an issue. I don't have an issue with premium having the ability to sell stuff. I just wish it was available to everybody, but premium had more faces. Could just imagine, like, hell, 10 to 15 slot for a free pile. I feel like that is like one of them cases, at least for me, be like more than enough, depending on, um, you know, depending on how much stuff you selling. Cause you know, like if you get in some high end capsule or something, or something like that stuff gonna turn over pretty quick. So like more than enough, but like, you know, if you like a heavy farmer who got like a billion different things, or you know you go in like a thousand dollars and have a shit ton of random items um you know from like a ac clash like maybe having more faces to sell would be more ideal but but yeah uh like like fine give premium way more slots same the same thing same thing go for that as well like i would not not only on that end is i would also make it if possible it could be an engine thing I would also make it just because of premium, being like, hey, you premium, congratulating, you got more fate for more uh, item slots on your character, so your character can put on more accessory. Oh, congratulating, you went from having a uh, hundred inventory slot, you now have two hundred. You now have five hundred. You also have premium storage, at least premium storage alone. Just no more inventory bump from a hundred to like two hundred, three hundred, whatever. Um, like, I would do, like, that stuff as well. Premium 1 out and 5 out. Are you going to rebuy a CM? Players absolutely love the graphics. Everyone who spoke about the graphics of the game said it was good. Even if they mentioned bugs or weird things that happen with textures, they love the graphics. Yeah, they absolutely should do more stuff being like, just take the stuff that in the game, or, you know, make the stuff in the game for free player and then make it like, hey, free player, do you want more of that? Give us 13 bucks a month. I ideally that what need to be done. Or like I said, like another example would be like Elder Quo would be like how Elder Quo does it where like, oh you signed up? Um congratulations, he'll like five hundred or like five hundred AC totally for free. Or everybody um everybody that at premium get ten pool from the new Equat ticket when it comes out. Like, as an example, you know, because, you know, we don't technically have DLC. or DLC is Quat Ticket. Cause, but, you know, like, ESO would be like, oh, you can buy the DLC. You can buy Quat Ticket. Or you sign up with a subscription. You get the DLC for free. 
all the DLC for free. You get one, uh, you get one temple every ticket every month for free. Like, like that type of stuff will make me like so much more interested in premium. You know. Yeah, I have an info shop. Yeah, I have an info shop. It like, cause honestly, like, I hate saying it, but literally the only reason to buy premium is literally just for the shop. I hate saying that, but it's true. Thanks. You know, players like the feel of the combat. Although we did see things saying that the combat wasn't intricate, some of the players that gave those responses also said that they just generally enjoy the feel of it and would like to see more. Of course, fashion and customization. This game has extreme customization options and Yeah, that auto like that part of the game. Although we do like. have a lack of type one and cast parts, what you can do with the things that we currently have in the game and the amount of customization things that we have in the game is outstanding. I'm a complete like fashion nerd when it comes to this game. Oh, we know. Uh, players really like the social interaction that they get. Players love Dark Falls. People want to see more bosses like Dark Falls. Damn, why we Next do. Next was Ordinal Tower. Players mentioned seeing improvement in the game and a I'm lot of potential. Now for results. And this is just kind of summaries of some of those key points that we mentioned, what I saw from reading all of these. Again, I had to summarize it as best as I could, but this is still a little long. So let's get into this. Many yeah, players I'm with positive, way to make money. neutral, and negative responses feel that they run out of objectives to work towards and a need to play the game many expressed that they wanted to play more with purpose Thanks. and I the content is mid <laughs> i was a little tired when i wrote that but basically that that's the gist of it and because i would i would love to have more more stuff to do more stuff to walk towards but the thing is that just like we just don't and the stuff we do we just know say you're gonna screw, screw with it and give it to us like a week later and we go back to the thing where people are saying they log in, they do their dailies, weeklies, if even that, and they log out. Many players enjoy the game, but fear that it's dying. Now, to branch out on this a little bit, I'm not going to do this too much while we read this part, but a lot of players mention that they don't know, but they hope it's not going to. Some players mention that they don't know, but they could see how it would be dying. And a lot of players just see the direction that they think it's going and they're a little afraid of, of what is to come in the future yeah that will i fall like i want to be hopeful about the stuff that come coming but at the same time it's like you know there's like parts of it that are just like no like housing like both example like i'm excited for housing but like in my soul i'm worried that sega gonna lock it behind premium or they, if they don't, they're going to be like, here's three by three, and you can put one item, and you have to go buy premium. Like, you know, like that, like I've talked about that whole thing they did with like, oh, the player bait want auto-selling. We heal you. We will add it. And then when they add it, be like, oh, and then premium only. Or you can or you can grab it for like one day, oh, one hour a month from the mission pass. Like, you know. Like that stuff plus some other stuff they have done and you can't shake that like feeling though. Most of this response have played since NGS launch or later. So this is relatively newer players. Players mention wanting ship merging slash less ships or cross ship content. I'm team quad ship. Players agree NGS started and launched on, poorly. Many who believe the game has improved express that they felt like it took a very long time. Yeah. They feel like the improvement has been incredibly slow. Yeah, it improved dramatically since launch. But the thing is yeah, to keep in mind is like we were talking about all the over quality of life stuff and just updating content that should have been there day one with certain things of like there was so many things in NGS should not have took like three, two and a half, three years to get to. That should have been done like in the full like months or two. Or like hell, any dragging their feet on like the Sobo at launch. And then also semi, not not at bad, but still like dragging their feet a little bit on the PF4 launch when they were like, oh yeah, we launched on a platform with what was that? I think it was like 80 million units. And we're going to add two blocks. And then nobody could get in and play. Uh, if you was on PS4. Like example. Just like dragging your feet. And like any of they did get that wet to fire. In like four or five hours. It's still like. 
It's still that whole idea, of, like, who thought it was a good idea to have, like, two to three blocks on a platform with 80, 90 million units. You know, it's just, like, which, and we told it probably, like, so badly just, once, once again, underestimating global and just widening global arts. And, you know, it's been on PF4 forever. Like, it's been on PF4 for years in Japan, NGS and base. So, like, I don't know. It just, it, just, it just give that vibe once again of just, like, just not caring all that much about on the global side beyond what they have to. And then even now, it's like with NGS, there were parts of it that kind of ain't for JP, which NJP have got pissy about that feel very similar. Many players with both positive and negative responses believe the game has high potential. It does. Again, it have a lot of potential. I was potential. tired when I wrote this. And currently does not meet the mark. It's more common that players who have played since base game feel that the game is repetitive, the gameplay loop is poor, and that there is not enough content end game. Players enjoy the movement and feel of the combat. However, many players feel like balancing should be more consistent and there should be more variety, like PAs, techniques, specialized combat styles, and more. Many players I think, express I think that they were happy, time. they had the opportunity to express their feelings towards the game. Players believe their expressed needs are not being heard or ignored. Uh, the amount of players, this is supposed to say, who felt like there are improvements or they still feel like there are issues not addressed was split. So the way I worded that was very weird. Um, I, I, but basically, I, I when I make my videos, both the I players like who have seen improvements in the game and that they're being listened to, they feel like they're being listened to, and the players who still feel like the issues are not being addressed is pretty split in this category. Most players are not exposed to social events. I'm just going to kind of take a side tangent there because I'm someone who hosts lots of events and always strives to do things to make the community closer. I think that there should be more ways to advertise the events hosted by not only creators, but alliance leaders, things like that. Um, even if they do some kind of notoriety system to give people access to different tools. The, the problem with that would be like, Sega never gonna, like, approve of that. Because, like, example here, like, the reason why you will never see Sega bluntly, not even G-Wiz, like, bluntly, like, promoting, like, the Miku streams, like, on the official Twitter or anything. Because the second they start, like, promoting that stuff, and if that stuff go Hawaii, kind of like how the Miku console use a lot of copyright stuff, that is just acting to be sued if that it bought under the white eyes at the right time. So they're never going to actually, you know, blow with any of that stuff. Um, or, you know, back any of that stuff, no matter how cool it would be if they would. But they they won't. They just won't. Legally, they can't. Uh, without they, without Miku, as example here, as, you know, if, without Miku just do one exclusively to stop that in license by Sega, which... Would technically be the answer to that. It just the question is, uh, you know, the red tape that come from that, though. Um, but that would be the easier way. But um, but yeah, like the 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 part the problem is with that. I think I feel the thing that could have been useful for this is I kind of feel like them nuking the method board kind of hurt that a lot. Like, don't get me wrong, you know, people still hang out, like, on Discord. They still hang out on Reddit, Twitter, whatnot. Uh, but not having, like, a, a central... Like, the only other thing we got, like, central wide would be, like, the Discord. But at the same time, is like, you know... How, I, like, Sega don't exactly promote the Discord all that much. It just, like, it just kind of, it just kind of hard, you know? To have a way to promote this stuff. Because, you know, so many of the players are like, going to miss out. And they can't bluntly promote it. Because legal reason, just... I don't think that, that that type of stuff will ever really happen. Beyond hoping... Hoping you get in contact with someone. Or find out about the information. To actually join it. Like, for me, like I wouldn't know about the Miku console. If it wasn't for Miku reaching out to me on Twitter. And a DM asking me to... You know, if I want to come to it. That's how I found out about the Miku console. 
like, you know, as example of that. And then Cat Day, and like, I knew of Cat Day, but I did not know, like, what day Cat Day was. The only reason, once again, I found out because of Miku. So, like, you know, as example of that stuff. I think that needs to be a big focus because... Although I don't think the game is dying, I think the social aspect of it is what's keeping it alive. Oh, Most yeah. of the other responses for the question, do you think NGS is dying? In a big state chunk. that the game is not dead, but they feel like it is very possible for it to die later on. Many players who have played base game feel that it's better than NGS. This is both Absolutely. players who currently enjoy and do not enjoy. Don't, don't get me wrong. It was way better before NGS came out, before they started cutting content out global. And then I encountered stuff we never got in global, but yeah, bait was a better game. But then again, it did have over a decade of a, you know stuff put into it as well. So, boy, NGS. These are players who have played both prior to global launch on JP and after global launch. Now, here are the reasons people feel that base game is better: the urgent quests, variety of content, boss fights, weapon variety and combat, PA's and techniques combat and gameplay loop, accessibility to limited events, and freedom in replayability, and the satisfaction they had with drops, concerts of course, and the casino. Many players who both like and dislike the game at its current state believe that it needs more versatile end game and high difficulty content. Alright, fixing my typo. Yeah. Many players who both liked and disliked the game would like to see the addition of life skilling like fishing and mining and social activities like the casino. Over 600 of the responses say that the game needs more improved or altered content. Now to dive a little deeper into that, players want the option to play content with higher difficulty. Players feel like the game lacks the consistent release of new content and the overall content is not fun. Players think the overall amount of content does not meet expectation. All players that mention RNG expressed a dislike of the amount in the game. Literally yep. every yep. single one. Players feel like the item drops they receive are not rewarding overall. Yep. Players feel that the new content updates were predictable and the content can be completed too fast. Wait. Most players that give both positive and negative general feedback feel that the story is boring, generic, lack depth, and felt unfinished. Many oh, who played week. the side story I'm content, quad, however, quad, thought that it was engaging. Yeah, it better. Many players who mentioned the much. cosmetics think the character creation and overall fashion is satisfactory. Many players would like to see more type 1 and cast items. I like wanting to trim and with type 1 chat. the urgent quest. People say that it's repetitive. Players feel like it's underwhelming. Players feel like it's not rewarding with outdated and non-useful weapon drops. Yep. And they said the urgent quests need bigger and more immersive boss fights. Yeah, because the drop weight is garbage As on a whole, the majority of the... In correspondence to the feedback given in this survey, NGS is not dying. Many who participated enjoy the game, but are getting very bored with it overall. However, yeah. they still log in frequently. The ones who don't want growth and improvement so that they can. Damn why. I, I, I want growth and improvement. Not only for my own satisfaction, but also to pay my bills. But, mainly because the potential is there. And just the question is, is will Sega ever grab a hold of that potential? Or by the time they do, will anyone care? Let's be honest. The majority of people right now barely care. So, if it takes like multiple years, will they really care? You know? Players don't feel like they're getting fresh content that releases frequently, and many mentioned the content we do receive at a slower pace is not satisfactory. The community aspect of the game is very strong. Many players who socialize daily, join active alliances, and attend community events seem very pleased with NGS and looking oh, forward to its Damn. improvements. In the end, yes, the game. Like, don't get me wrong, the new, the new Dark Fall is going to be dropping the item to give us, you know, the new weapon theory that better than all the weapon theory, elite bait damage wise, anyway. But with that being said, it like, we're, like I talked about in the video I did about it, like, we still don't know if we're going to do the Origin Quest 1, get one piece, or will we do it, get five pieces, buy the weapon, don't have to deal with it ever again beyond, you know, beyond, you know, buying multiple weapons or maybe a new armor or something if we lucky. But, um, 
but yeah, literally, literally like that. Like any any of the new Dark Fall fight, depending on how it go with the new portrait of the new weapon, could be one of them one of them fight that you do once. You good? You got your new weapon? You don't got to worry about it ever again. Or could be one of the bot fight that gonna, we have to do like a hundred plus time to only get five simple item to get the new weapon. You know. We 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 just don't know at the moment. But yeah, like all the other origin quests is at that point they kinda like pointless like, because they were like Sega at that point to give away all the content tied to them. And then on top of that, the stuff that also in them origin quests is all literally stuff we still got any back end. Like we can quote beta originally, you know, like the the wealthy two and threes and whatnot. So I like, you know, no reason to do it. Every time you do the origin quest, you need to get a, a token and then you can save up for them a token in the special shop. Exactly. Yeah, that's exactly how the new origin quest gonna operate the question is how many will we get poor fight and is it consistent there'll be a whole mix of item to get uh some people for like three to five token and you could maybe uh something super fetch right 100 token like outfit actually that is that always verified to not be the case and like all the items uh that is going to be in the new shop have already been uh the double and broken down over on art busy phone so we know exactly what we're getting from it. The only items we are getting from it is the weapon and augments. That it. Um, but yeah, that's literally the only thing we are getting. Yeah, and no cosmetic because Sega still wants you to buy the cosmetics. Because, you know, give, give me you free, you know, emos, outfits. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe in the mission paths. But any then, and like most of them were just etchy items or fake PSO items, but. Game does need help, but it is possible that it can be saved and satisfy its audience. But yeah, we will the see The consistent though, player base may not be large, but it's still very active and new players join daily. And with that, we reach the end of our feedback analysis for the survey, What Do You Think About PSO2 NGS? Regarding the topic, NGS is dying. Looking back, some things yeah, that I would do differently, that we'll get we'll play, so not I would have made the question, do you think NGS is dying? We'll a simple I would do yes a whole, or no. I would do a whole a whole breakdown on that once we can actually see potential in a fixing and see if it, you know, actually is. Because hopefully, hopefully that the case, that Gunboy will be able to hold up uh, think to a fixing and some of the potential, but since Sega is not showing potential right now, we will see. Um, so ridiculous wrong. Yeah, I wouldn't put it pat like having something similar to that, but but yeah, I'm in the camp of white right now where like I'm holding on my uh, on my gun because uh, I have the money to buy it. And just like right now, I'm holding off to you know after the dark fall just to see just to see where like the quick uh, you know the cookie crumbles. But I, I hope I hope the guns are still gonna be good, especially for the people that, you know, been finning how long farming at since what, like December, as well as like the people who just went and bent like X millions of dollars on it. Like I hope Sega is not gonna like just you know, glue all them people, but the thing is with Sega, I had a good chance they might, but Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully your, um, your gun will still hold up after the 17th. Since people the got the opportunity to express themselves in the following question, asking players about their total playtime, asking players what kind of content they do the most, asking players what they're looking forward to specifically, and asking players what they feel like they see too much of. But this is my first one, so I'll keep that in mind in case I do something similar to this again. A link to access the full spreadsheet showing all the results will be in the description as well as in my, in my Discord as well. soon as it's ready. Since this survey is anonymous and to avoid any bullying or toxicity, I will be removing any names included in the responses. I want everyone to feel comfortable sharing their opinions and things like this. I'm very happy that most of the responses were constructive and they were taken very seriously. There weren't very many silly or trolly comments in there. I'd love to do something like this again in the future. 
but for now after reading over a thousand responses yeah. i don't want to read ever again go, go, go all right everyone nap, stay comfy <laughs> but there, there we go chat yeah yeah i kind of i kind of feel like i i feel like for the most part most of the stuff that came out of all survey is is not surprising like, I feel like if you actually, like, in, like, you know, you pay attention of the community as a whole, I feel, I feel like that pretty, like, spot on for what I was affecting. Because I wouldn't say, I would say the only thing in there that was, like, a little, like, surprising would be the ordinary, or ordinary towel. Like, that one was the, the one that was, like, okay, I get, I get people do care about that in some ways. But... But yeah, hopefully moving into this year, especially since obviously um, the production is beating up, and if it only by like a month or so long, as long as nothing get delayed, uh, we will we will see. And uh, and with that, chat, make sure you, make sure you go go and subscribe to Gore Nightshade. She is great. She on Twitch. She on YouTube. Subscribe. Follow on both. Uh, and, uh, so it will probably go up on YouTube as on separate things that we do have big discussions here. Uh, if you can't tell by 18 minute turning into what bleep, probably almost an hour video. Uh, yeah, make sure, make sure you, of course, check out the description. I will have all the links that was mentioned here, uh, as well as, of course, do the thumbs up, subscribe, hit all the bells. If you are watching it after the fact or on YouTube, if you're watching it live, you can still go do the same thing just on my other videos. I uh, and uh, of course I will edit it in, but I will have names of queens of everybody that is supporting through uh, memberships on Twitch or on YouTube by hitting that join button, uh, subscribing over on patreon.com slash Macon, or by of course, uh, <laughs> of course, subscribing uh, here on a Twitch. So thank you, thank you. Also, gotta give 1k a thank you since they do support at the Lunar Teal over on uh, Patreon. Uh, so, so yeah, thank you on that 1k. Uh, and yes, as CM put it, we can't forget about all, all, and all that jazz. I need to probably get in a habit of doing that at the beginning of the video that I know for a fact I'm going to put up on YouTube, shouldn't I? We got, we got to, we got to try to make this a habit in the future. Uh, 